What up, y'all? Welcome back. Vintage Cube. I think we've, I think we're like, so I think we're like six in a row for one twos, but last time it felt pretty all right. I, I felt like that last one was, was because the win was at the tail end. I feel good about it. Also, this draft is sponsored by my buddy Fly MTG, which is my friend Mike from uh, Seattle. And uh, he just supplied us with some tickets. Before I started, I was like, yeah, I can do this. Now I'm like, I want five guys. <laughs> Dude, it's true. Like, you don't realize because you're like, oh, wow. I basically had bread for every single meal in some, like, like car, carb, carbohydrates, I guess you want to say, for like every single meal. And then they're like, oh, you could just have burgers and sandwiches with like lettuce buns. It's not the same at all. Five Guys is really good. When I went, like, Five Guys fries are great. And also, like, I don't even eat meat, but, like, I'll get their veggie sandwiches and they're just really good. Ooh, a Mox Ruby and a Crater Hoof. Hmm, Worm Coil. I think, I mean, it's obviously just Mox Ruby, right? Like, let's not be stupid. For some reason, I was like, maybe it's Crater Hoof. It's definitely just Mox Ruby. Lettuce buns. How dare you? Super Fritz, can you make, can you make some lettuce buns at Subway? Ari Laxative, have you had Five Guys with the raspberry jam and the um, the Brussels sprout reduction? Because I feel like that'd be really that'd be really right up your alley. Mon mono red boys, wow! Multiple people saying mono red. Badger, dude, you can't make that same joke every single time, dude. <laughs> Jesus. And this is Badger's like, watch me. And I'm going to be like, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, biscuits. Oh, I like a corsive portal. Zealous Conscripts is great. Glenelanger Archmage is, Archmage is great. Phyrexian Metamorph is great. Ken and Will. That is not how the one true sub is made. Yeah, there's not enough mayo for sure. I don't want to lose any big days. Oh, this pack's actually pretty decent. I don't want to lose. I think it is just Zealous Conscripts. Like, we have no reason to go in a different color. Course of Portal's great. I really don't like Thalia, and I think Zealous Conscript's upside is way higher than Bowman Kerr. I like Brussels sprouts with chocolate ganache. Who doesn't, though? I mean, that's not that's not really surprising, you know. I mean, that's just that's just good eats, you know. Glorbringer is actually always better than I expect in cube. Narset's good. Koligon's command is good. Oh, you know what? You know what? Kabalan has a stip. Is Kabalan here? Kabalan, I know you were here earlier. Where are you at? That sounds bad, sir. Iron Man MTG. Ari Laxative's thing is he likes combining the worst ingredients possible. And making meals out of them. Cabalan, where you at? We got a dark confidant on third pick. I want to see it. Dang it, Cabalan. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. I think it's Coligon's command. The funny thing is I'm actually a chef. Oh, that's wild. That is funny. Imagine if you had the resources to orchestrate a global conspiracy of almost every scientist, journalist, and politician all over the world, and your grand Machiavellian endgame was to get people to cover their mouths. Yeah, dude, it's... I... <sighs> I can't. Every nation in the world will go along with it. Including the benevolent ones. Um, can we just be buried alive? Buried alive has high upside if we uh, 
Do we just hit Reanimator here? Shriek Maw is fine, but like it's not exciting, whereas Buried Alive has upside. So does Imperial Recruiter, actually. Surstroming and Starburst Sandwiches. That sounds... That's vomitous. That's vomitous. You're disgusting. Goblin Dark Dwellers has been decent for me when we have, like, Kologon's Command. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I didn't think it was going to come out. I think it's just Golgari Signet, though. I don't... I don't think it's Bizarre. I hate... I really hate Bizarre. Oh, Necromancy, though. See, now we're talking. Now we got Buried Alive and Necromancy. It's almost like a combo. Oh, I knew. Eh, it's probably just Firebolt. Avalanche Riders could be fine. Peanut butter and mayonnaise quesadillas with toothpaste sauce. Super I actually think you're incapable of suggesting something without mayonnaise. I agree. It's I, I agree. It's it's not insane. Right? I agree with you completely. It's the problem is like despite the fact that it could be fine, it's like my instinctual dislike of the card, kind of like it deters me. You know. I am being funded by Big Mayo. I mean, it's not too far. I actually kind of like Overgrown Tomb just because we do have Golgari Signet, so let's any green splash be decent. Animate Dead? Oh, we're on the right track here. Dark Confidant came back? Unus Prowl. It's got to be Unus Prowl, though. We're, we're trying to reanimate here. Corpse Dance? All right, we're doing it. Guys, the dream is alive. All right, not bad, not bad. Eh, Cabal Ritual. Man, we got like Seething Song, Cabal Ritual, and Pyretic Ritual passed to us. All of mine got killed in public school. Burr, 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 burr. I love a consecrated sphinx. Pack rat is a discard outlet. Crox is fine. Um, it might just be pack rat. Yeah, I mean, between, like, Una's Prowler and Pack Rat, I think we actually have some pretty decent discard outlets. Especially with Corpse Dance. I, I, think, it, I think it's rad here. Yep, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. I mean, the reason we're looking for this is because we have Corpse Dance. And if we can get, like, Shallow Grave, it's really good. We can also get, like, Through the Breach or Sneak Attack as well. Mana Drain is in, in here and fan, it's fantastic, but we have no blue cards. So I'm just going to take Emrakul. We also have a reanimate here. Whew. And Ulamog. Ulamog is just decent because he stays on board. We already have Necromancy and Animate Dead and Corpse Dance. Do we need reanimate over Ulamog? <sighs> like, I definitely want to make sure we have targets here. I think we take reanimate here. I think we take reanimate. The Ulamog might even come back. Pestermite's fascinating. We also take Kite Sail Freebooter. I mean, we're clearly not. We're clearly not going to be Grixis. Like we have no Grixis leanings right now. I'll just take Freebooter. Inferno Titan seems real good. Yeah, let's Inferno Titan here. Ah, yes! Oh, it's Grizzly D. Not even close. What is the most crazy conspiracy thing you believe? Um. 
So one of the craziest, like, so okay, one of one of my one of my uh, guilty pleasures is the show Ancient Aliens on History Channel, and I know I know it's totally out there and goofy, right? Um, I'm aware of it, right? But it it makes me think for sure. And um, wow, Deceiver X Arc too, huh? Fascinating. This is the first time I actually feel like it could be faithless looting. Like turn one looting is pretty decent. Yeah. I don't often like Faithless Looting, but I think here it's pretty good. Also on turn four, it lets us go uh, Faithless Looting into Corpse Dance. So, like, basically, I love Ancient Aliens. I think the show is super interesting. And even if you don't believe the alien slant of the show, like, it's still interesting to see all these, like, you know, his historic cultures and, like, things like that. But, I mean, I think there is a tremendous, tremendous amount of ancient um, archaeology and ancient, uh, like, like art um, that have things that look like UFOs. That have, like, you know, like, that have UFOs in them. That have things that look like spacecraft. And it's very interesting because if someone from today... Um, like it's just it's just very interesting, right? Like it, like you look at it and it's like, well, there's no reason they would know what this was. Crocs is not bad for just taking a Crocs, huh? and plus this is a deck that wants to put things in the graveyard. So yeah, so I just think Ancient Aliens is super fascinating. Like obviously, I'm not like giving it a, a ton of credibility in terms of like historic accuracy or anything, but it's just a fun show to watch. And I do I do the one thing I do believe is I, I do believe that there's extraterrestrial life somewhere in the universe. I think if the universe is as big as it is and we are the only species in the only section of the universe that ever evolved, I think that the odds of that happening is astronomically low for us to only be the only ones. Wow. And I also think the likelihood of, of aliens having visited us at some point in time um, it's reasonable. I don't want to say it's high, but I wouldn't be surprised. And I think there's definitely some evidence of, of things that you cannot explain. Man, pyretic ritual, cabal ritual. We still have another pack and our deck looks pretty sweet. I sort of agree because I don't even believe in the moon. What'd you even land on, losers? I got some fruit snacks. It's like old school. Oh yeah. Oh, we're doing it, boys. Don't call it a comeback. Sword? <laughs> oh, Badger. And there's a Colossus at Emerville, a bribery, a force of will. Oh yeah, we're living the dream. There's a Kiki Jiki, which is still an infinite combo as well as Conscripts. I like Blood Crypt a lot, but I think Kiki Jiki is where you want to be. Butter my backside and call me a biscuit. I'm not doing that. We do have Pestermite. That's interesting. If we have any way to splash it. What's the maximum number of fruit snacks you guys will put in your mouth at the same time?
I don't think I have a maximum. Six is probably correct. I feel like any anything over like six or seven is a choking hazard. Yeah, shoulder is actually fine. And it's like the only thing we could take in this pack. There's a seething song. We got desperate cabal seething song. Hmm. Makeshift mannequin also an instant for like Una's prowler or pack rat for that Merkel. I think it's I think it's actually makeshift mannequin here. Well, that was fine. I don't think mannequin. Why is mannequin so bad? I don't think mannequin's that bad. This deck really wants a shallow grave. Uh, I also think Black Cleave Cliffs is great for us. Do we need an Ulamog here? I mean, the only thing we can hit Ulamog with is Makeshift Mannequin or um, Shallow Grave. Or uh, Corpus Dance, rather. I think I think the odds of Languish or Damnation coming back is pretty high. I had a car crash once near my place, knowing known of having UFO sites. My grandpa was driving and talking about that in the moment. When a truck came in the wrong lane, he had to divert the... Jesus. I think we want at least one land. One land that fixes our mana. Living Death could also just be fine in our deck. Hello. Hello. Are you okay if I close the door? Yes. Am I too loud? Yes. <laughs> wow, you just came out and said... Yes. Um, well, I don't have to yet. I'm not going quite to bed, but... I'm not going quite to bed, babe. Oh. Oh. My cellular. Oh, I didn't even... Uh, it's it's called a mobile. Oh, I saw your message. Sorry, Katie. Well, oh, that's funny. I was like, man, she's not responding yet. I guess I know why. It's just Bitter Blossom. I don't even know what, what it is. Say? What oh, they said, sorry, Katie. We'll try to keep it down. Let me take this. Mm, Some kind of randomate nonsense. Mmm. 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 Take frick. Oh, the Blood Crypt came back. It's what you want. And then Choopy Choop. I do like a Choopy Choop. Dang it. I got through my pile. Yeah? Yeah. Is the bed clean now? Almost. I have a box. I would take Fiend, but we already have Kite Sail Freebooter. I don't think we need two of that effect. Go for the throat. That's fine. Katie's like, you're too damn loud. And she shut the door. <laughs> she heard that. Oh, Languish Nor... Damnation came back. I will eat my words. Wish Claw Talisman's not terrible, actually. Go to find uh, a Randomite spell if you really, really need one. And then they can go find a uh, removal spell. <laughs> and then he waddled away. He waddled, waddled, waddled. Till the very next day. Bum, 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 da, da, da. I think our deck looks pretty fine, though. I don't think we need Dark Ritual when we have Black Lotus. I don't think we're a Living Death deck, as much as Living Death is cute. I also don't think we care about Signet here. We have nothing we're going to splash off of it. Oh, yeah, see, Josh agrees. Josh, is, Josh knows what's up. And now we need one more cut. I do think we want Buried Alive for like Gristle, Shouldered, and Front of the Titan. Because we have Mannequin, Corpse Dance, Animate Dead, and we took the Reanimate, which is awesome. I ate some ham, I lost control, and now I'm a sausage roll. <laughs> Checks out. Sounds about right. Is it Arena? Actually, it's Avalanche Riders. Avalanche Riders is kind of trash. <sighs> Emer I don't think Emrakul's ambitious because half of our spells actually do it mannequin and corpse dance and plus we have liliana to like mill it and then we can just reanimate it in the moment like i think it's actually fine all right we have significantly more black than red i'm sure yep by a sizable margin 
nine four plus mox, so it's nine five. So fifteen lands, Lotus. Yeah, all right, let's do it. We do have triple red. It's true, but we also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we can just cast it off Lotus too. Triple red. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, let's do one more. I think ten black sources is probably fine. I wish they put tragic slip in the cube so little mod could slip on that. Wow, this is a quick. Uh... See, I can also see playing dark ritual just to like maximize our our bonkers opens. No, uh, I think this is fine. It doesn't have any bombs, but it's just like. Kind of decent. <laughs> Joke's on me. Alright, well. That's what I get for leading on, uh. Yeah, Dark Red's at it. I, I agree with you because then you get to go Entomb and the Reanimate spell in the same turn. Interesting wasteland. Did you read the ending of the car story? Uh, no. Hold on. Uh, divert the car core. We nearly went downhill. I just saw lights going up the sky as the car went towards the fall. I closed my eyes and when I opened them, the car was standing in the street as I saw the lights get away in the sky. What? That's interesting. Uh, let's play a second black here. This is a real slow and steady wins the race here. Do, 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 do. Adanto Vanguard. Oh, she back. Am I still being too loud? He don't ever want to come in anywhere. Kill this stupid idiot thing. Turn that thing into a piece of trash. That's a pack rat. All right, well, I think we're just ratting now. We should have gone downhill and said something pulled us back to the road. Mark, that's super weird, man. Guys, we are going to send them on down to Rat Train. Send them on down to Rat Train. Have you ever been outside and got to call on the Rat Train? <laughs> I'll take three. I don't think it's worth giving up a rat here. Sure. Bunch of three ones up in here. Yep, don't care about that thing. Watch, we're going to draw Inferno Titan. You ready? Interesting. What if we draw Gristlebrand Reanimate spell? Zombub, I have missed like three days, but other than that, I've been on like every day. So, I don't know where you're looking, buddy. I don't know where you're looking. Or we could just discard Faithless Looting. Make a rat. I think it's probably best to play it. I don't care about Go for the Throat. I don't care about Lumis Prowler either. I mean, go for the throw. It doesn't kill this or this. It will kill this. I think if we're going to discard go for the throw, it's just better discard swamp. And then we can keep go for the throw and maybe use it if we'd like. Well, I mean, with five mana, we can still flashback looting and have two mana for reanimate. God, 
I feel another sneeze coming on. Oh, I see what you're saying. Wait. No, we can still do it in the same turn though. Like one, two, three. Oh, you mean like oh you want you mean specifically reanimate. Not a reanimate spell. Like we could have flashed this back. Well no, we could have still done that. I don't I'm I'm missing what your point. Okay, reanimate or animate dead basically are the two options that we could have had. Because we don't have exhume or I don't know. I think the odds of us hitting a reanimate target plus a uh We make three threes. I don't think that's very good. I think I'm just taking six here. Yeah, I think the odds of us hitting a specifically a two or less reanimate spell along with a creature to reanimate is very, very... Uh, I think our odds are low. Yeah, that's fine. Get back Wasteland, but we have no real targets for a Wasteland, so... I mean, making our rats 4-4s four next turn is pretty good. Sure. Get rid of a go for the throat. <laughs> Let's loot faithlessly. Shieldred and Gristlebrand. Let's get rid of both of those. Actually, if we play the land, we can get rid of these two, play the land next turn we have mana for. No, it's got to be these two. get rid of red and six and I'll, I if we if we use our last card to make a the thing is we don't want red and six on board because um they can attack with their threes and then shoot one of our rats to make them twos so I mean we're just hoping for like no maelstrom pulse no black source maelstrom pulse Yeah, that's a little annoying. Like, that's a two-turn Glock. Yep. Did Faithless Living abandon Modern? I actually don't remember. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I think a 4-4... Four, four, 6 4, four is 4... Oh! That's interesting! Interesting. Oh man, why does why does Zealous Conscripts literally have to be the top card? That's hilarious. I mean we can definitely get rid of the Elspeth, right? We can steal like Porcelain Legionnaire. We could also steal Wasteland and kill their, their Stirring Wildwood. The block here, they take 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, this is just lethal, right? Like, if we steal Legionnaire, the most they can do is block a pack rat. But then we're attacking for 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This is hilariously lethal. We cannot wait until Elspeth because they kill us next turn. Attack all with your face. Yeah, they take 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is exactly, wow, that's hilarious. I was going to be like, how can I get rid of Elspeth? Wow, Xaxes. <laughs> Oh, man. That's a hell of a drug. I almost kind of want wear just because we did see Porcelain Legionnaire. 
I want to take where because we saw the Legion there. I think we're just fine. I think our deck is good. We did just send him. We literally sent him on down to the rat train. Living Death does seem okay. It's kind of like a board wipe. I'm going to take Arena out because Arena seems like a lot of damage. I think Kikijiki is still fine. That guy's still going to win us the game. They don't have a ton of removal, so. I think this is okay. I kind of don't want to lead on Blood Crypt because of Wasteland. Oh, look. Oh, look. Okay, Kolagon's Command is pretty decent, but we can't kill it till next turn. I mean, we have to risk it. I can't just, like, not play a Black Source. Ugh, it's gross. Okay, so not Wasteland. That's pretty good, but they can't they can't double strike it, so. Oh, we just get to go Kolagon's Command, kill your Silver Blade and your Smuggler's Copter. That's pretty good. Uh, do we do it now? I don't see why not. Like, they could have Mana Tithe. They could have a Pump Spell. The drawbacks are like Mana Tithe. Yeah, it's fine. Can't kick command that anyway. I can go for the throat it though, which I will do immediately. Man, it's had to be surprising, but I don't think there's any. I think the the benefit is is low enough that I I just rather play around it. Oh wow, that's interesting. Huh. Mirror Angel, Ren and Six, Lodestone Golem. Wow, without Lodestone Golem here, that'd be insane, right? We can go Faithless Looting to Mannequin. One, two, three, four. We can animate dead something. Let's animate dead a Mirror Angel. Play a land. One, two, three, four, five. So we need six next turn. No, we need seven, right? Five and two. This should be always yes. Yes. No, we need seven. This costs five. This costs two. And we can cast looting now, but I don't think it's good because we kind of want to save. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can just wait. We can't actually Kiki one two three four because the because it's gonna need six mana for this. Oh, for fuck's sake, that's really surprisingly good. Jeez, wow, fucking wasteland and parallax wave. God, Jesus, it's disgusting. 
mean, I have no incentive to take five here. I think this bird just needs to be blocked. I mean, they could just easily get rid of my bird, too. <sighs> I think we're going to be dead before this is a thing. I think we have to actually Faithless Looting here. Let's get rid of you and Kiki Jiki here. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can manic oh, but then they just they just activate this. That's so bad. Yeah, get rid of these, I guess. I mean we're not gonna be able to activate this until we have seven mana. So we're gonna take five, go to six, gonna take and they can just actually parallax wave it anyway, so. Plus they're gonna have tons of blockers from the American Angel when it comes back. Under their control. I still have five cards in hand. I actually don't care about that that much. Gristle Dad. The funny thing is Makeshift Panic is the last thing you want because once they target it, it goes to the graveyard. Under there, four, five, six. You can just play Kiki Jiki. <laughs> Does nothing. Dude, Lodestone Golem and Parallax Wave, like, what a ridiculous thing to do. Meanwhile, our Fatal Push and our Cold Guns Commander are in the graveyard. Yep. Man, never fails. Sure. And we're definitely bringing back... We're definitely going to try to reanimate shield. Uh, I mean, they're, they're going to see it. Like, there's no way they don't see it, right? And immediately get rid of this thing, sure. Yep, I'm going to go to the next game. <laughs> we're, like, dead on board. We take nine here and then... Like, it's... Uh, comically, I almost want to take these two out. Like, and I almost want to bring Avalanche Riders in. <laughs> Again, like, Dark, like, Living Death seems good. Dark Ritual is also a card I was like, maybe I just play this. <sighs> Oof. Also, Massacre Worm. Massacre Worm should probably be in there, too. I don't know. Yeah, that seems good. Let's take out Emrakul, because I think it is ambitious in this particular matchup. I mean, the only thing we hit with wear would be, like, their mocks, their smugglers caught Lodestone Golem, too, I guess. Yeah, that seems fine. What are we taking out for that, though? Well, we don't have white, so we're never going to hit their wave. We're never going to hit Parallax wave. I mean, I guess we could crack Lotus for it, but... Let's take out Liliana. No, I think Liliana's actually good. Maybe Croxa. I think Mannequin is worse than Necro for sure. Especially if we're taking out Emrakul. So, Kerwin, have a good night, buddy. I will see you tomorrow, I'm sure. Oh, good. Oh, good. Glad we took our dual lands out. Wonderful. Literally the same hand, but worse. <sighs> I guess we'll keep it. One, two. <laughs> I mean, I think Kiki's like worse than Inferno Titan here. Even though Kiki is a little bit uh, cheaper. It's one mana cheaper, but I think it's harder to cast. Yeah, we just played 41. It's fine. I mean, wow, every game. Literally every game of Smuggler's Copter. <sighs> Seems good. Yep.
All right. Boarded in Dark Ritual, Black Lotus. We got Mox. Mulligan to five. Yeah. What can you do? Yep. Attack for six. I mean, if we draw Black Lotus here, it'd be great. We can Mask Worm their whole board, except for the Golem, but I think it's still very good. Short of that, I'm not sure what we can actually draw here to, to do anything. Yep, Red Source lets us play nothing. They get us attacks for, for nine next turn. Cool, that was a fun game where I literally got to cast zero spells because we mulliganed five. Sounds fun. Yep. What up, Cat 8X? Cat AX, thanks for saying so. Appreciate it. I'll keep this hand. <sighs> I mean, all we need is something to reanimate here. What's your words per minute? It sounds like it's in the range of... I, don't, I actually don't know. I should, I should test. I mean, I'd hope, I, I'd hope it's, I'd hope it's decent with the number of uh, years I've been doing things. Croxa. Croxa. Discard a Consecrated Sphinx. That would be wild. Ravages War. Well, I guess we're glad that's not still in your hand. So if we draw a big fatty, we can actually play like Unus Prowler into Reanimate. I have two cards in hand. Revoker. I mean, Mox? Sure, that's annoying. You have one card in hand, though? Like, eh, okay. This deck is good. We just drew like actual poop. Yeah, but that's the point, though, right? Like my opponent seems to always get their. I hate to. I hate to be that guy. Be like, oh, they always have it. But like my opponents definitely seem to like have advantage. I feel like blocking here is actually fine. I mean, like, what do we lose access to? And we still have pack rat, which takes a turn. Like it has to be the, like the top card actually has to be. Um. Like the value of getting our mox turned on has to be higher than the uh, the the value of like okay sure <laughs> I guess our mox is turned off again our opponent's like guess they really want that mox we can reanimate our prowler it's true I 
All day bucks for being on your mountain. Got him. Oh man, what's it like to get wrecked this hard? Seems pretty bad, loser. <laughs> second One, two, three, four, five. Man, if only Mox was a thing. <laughs> Grilled Swedish fish? Grilled Swedish fish and Caesar dry? I have never had it. God, it sounds really amazing, though. Academy runs. This deck is fascinating. One, two, three, four, five. Now you have six mana, so you can play Primeval Titan. Does not look like you'll be going to. They should definitely attack here. Well, maybe. I mean, we get to make a rat and block. I don't even know if I want to make rat. Like, the problem is if we draw, like, five drop Liliana. Um, can't cast Kiki Jiki. Zealous Conscripts. Doesn't do much here either. I guess we'll make a rat. Gristlebrand. I don't think they're blocking here. No? Interesting. I kind of just want the second red source here. I could, I think we could definitely pitch one of these reanimate spells. And we're even getting close to like Croxaing again. We could also reanimate Croxa, take two, animate dead Croxa, and almost hit their whole hand. Something's happening. Wheel of Fortune. Well, make a rat. That's pretty wild. This is our second Wheel of Fortune that's happened. <sighs> well, that's pretty good. I mean, they can play as many lands as they want. Look at this five color fast bond deck. You can play as many lands as you want. I don't think so, man. I don't think that's true. I mean, you still have to beat Pack Rat, which is not easy. You can pack whatever you like. Actually, conscripts their fast bonds pretty hilarious. One, two, three, four, five. Steal fast bond. Play land, land, land. We'd have one, two extra land that we can use. Fatal push this guy. Still have two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, like two of our most, our, our cheapest reanimate spells are in the graveyard now.
Ramunap with no lands in the graveyard. They also discarded Tooth and Nail and Leovold. That's wild. Can we kill them here? Like, we just kill Revoker with Fatal Push. I feel like we can win here. I don't I don't know for, for certain, but... <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um... <laughs> So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. One, two, three, four, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, we just win, right? I wasn't counting Lotus. We could also play Swamp from the graveyard. If we're stealing this guy, doesn't matter. All right. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Yeah, they're trying to leave old and then uh, Wheel of Fortune, which is kind of dirty. I kind of want Dark Ritual. I think we just play Dark Ritual. Just run it. Run it up. Yeah, but if we concert fast bomb, we're only putting two extra lands into play, which when we have like seven mana really isn't that impressive. It's cute. It's it's a style play for sure, but Um <laughs> If this was a mountain if this was a oh man. If, if we draw... Oh, fuck. Dark Ritual Lotus off top would be amazing. Hmm. I think we just play Prowler here. I mean, Prowler lets us Gristlebrand next turn. Kite Sail Freebooter is cute, but like with two mana, I don't know what they're going to be able to do. See, this is interesting. This is really interesting. Like, we can let it resolve, and if they name Willow's Prowler, it's rough. But if we pitch in response, they can easily name Gristlebrand, which might be worse. Yeah, we'll pitch Gristlebrand. They might not. They might actually not name Gristlebrand. They might name Mox still. But if they're not naming Una's Prowler, then we still get to attack with Una's Prowler, so... I mean, depending on how they get rid of Gristlebrand, too, we could have a second Gristlebrand as well, so they have to deal with it twice. And we could just go Kite Self Rebooter, make sure the coast is clear, so. <sighs> they named Gristlebrand. Inferno Titan, also not bad. Jeez. Like, next turn, we can actually just reanimate in front of Titan, kill the Phyrexian Roker, and gain the life. Or we can do that now, actually. Pitch Titan, we can animate down on Titan. Oh, animate, reanimate, probably, because it, it's going to cost us two less life, so. And then you just have to kind of deal with that. Yeah, that seems good. I mean, I would have loved a, a black source here, but... I mean, the green-blue deck with Inferno Titan on board and Animate Dead in the graveyard. Like, this guy's just a lot to deal with, and they can't. So, apparently Inferno Titan's a hell of a drug. I almost feel like I want the Dark Ritual in the main deck. Is that weird?
I'll keep this hand. Not gonna leave. Not, not gonna leave with this Lotus yet, though. Josh, we're on the two-one train. We can do it. It's a lot of power. Now you're playing with power. I mean, if we draw like Gristlebrand, we can Colicon's command ourselves to make us discard it, and then Corpse Dance with Lotus to draw seven. Seems dece. This is annoying because they take Fatal Push and we kind of have to use Colgon's Command, but if they take Colgon's Command, that's actually great for us. So I doubt they're going to do that. You messing with the cassette deck? It probably did sound like that. No, it's a label maker. I actually spelled turmeric wrong. Did you guys know there was a U? There's a there's an R. It's turmeric, not turmeric. I actually didn't know that. It's like Wednesday or Feb February. I don't think we kill it immediately. Like if they take Fatal Push, forcing us to use Colagon's command. Like I'd rather just keep the Colagon's command. Yeah, who doesn't know that, is you? <laughs> yeah, everybody knows that. It's clearly T-U-R. Duh. Everyone's saying turmeric. I thought it was turmeric. I don't know. I guess I'm not, a, I'm not as good of a spice lord as I thought I was. Yep, that's the correct play. It's not a turmeric. Wow, that's pretty good. Oh, Jesus, that's surprisingly good. Okay. Okay, well, we have seven mana and nothing to do. Seven mana and nothing to do. Black Lotus is stuck in our hand. What do you mean it's stuck in your hand? There's a Phyrexian Arena. I'd like a Phyrexian Arena. I mean, I'm not killing this because I value the flexibility of Colagon's command more than I care about getting Fatal Pushback. Like I said, I mean, Gristlebrand or Emrakul lets us corpse dance it immediately, and that's pretty insane. Demonic Tutor. Sure. I wonder if they're actually just going to go to land. I'll get a Hissing Quagmire. You didn't hear it, but I just said, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> oh, man. Black Lotus is stuck in hand. And a really bad Kulagon's command. I think they did get a land. Eh, Crocs is not bad. Let's Crocs though. I kind of just want to play Lotus here because it does let us keep up Colgon's command. I don't think that does anything though. I guess it's not. It's fine. I mean, I'd rather not expose it if they have like Rex Sage or Acidic Slam. I'd rather not be. Exposing a lotus to that. Oh, Josh, we could probably do that. I have good audio equipment and whatever. <laughs> well, that is unfortunate. We do have a zealous conscript, though. I like that I want to negative five this Ashiok, but instead we have to negative four or negative six it. Hmm. Still not bad. I 
Yeah, I mean, you could be exposing the Inquisition or Thoughtseize, but, like, you just gotta pick your battles, man. I think there's a lot more artifact destruction in the cube than there is hand destruction, so. Um... <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I mean, I'm pretty sure we just blood crypt, steal Ashiok, get Gonti. It still puts Ashiok to one. Oh, we can't K command it. Oh, we could. No, we can't. We. I mean, we'd have to use Lotus for that, and I don't think it's. Maybe that's probably fine. No, we can't. We can't kill Ashrak because we'd steal it. We're stealing it. So. Wow, double Gonti. Oh, control magic seems great here. Let's take a control magic. Um. Also kind of drunkish. Typical Josh. I mean, we still have two creatures and a control magic. So, like, Ashak goes to three. And so they block Zealous. Yeah. They hit nothing, which is good. Frexian Arena, two lands. Sure. We could put control magic on the Ashiok, steal it forever. A solid strategy. Okay. Well, I guess we're never getting fatal pushback. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six. We have five power, we can just kill Oko here. Presuming they don't have anything. Let's see what they have. Den Protector, Baleful Str let's get rid of Den Protector, I think. Oh, we don't get to choose any of these, actually. <laughs> so, one, two, three. Den Protector still costs five, which is just fine, I think. Whatever. Wait, what? Oh, we didn't, we didn't tap this one. Sure. I mean, they get to get Oko back, but I think that's fine. Yep, there goes Baleful Strix. So we know these two cards? Sure. Again, they hit lands. One, two, three, four, five. So we just need a discard outlet. <laughs> no, we need a, a card to actually discard. But, I mean, we just send all at Ashiok. I guess they can play Den Protector face down, which saves the Ashiok, but... No, because then we get to Kolagon's command it and kill the Baleful Strix, which is pretty nuts, actually. Yeah, that's really good. I mean, I'm pretty sure we never get our we never get our fatal pushback. I think that's how that works. Eh, go for the third. Does not deal with this. I mean, I think I'm fine with any of these creatures dying, so. Oh, 
Oh, uh, attack Ashiok. Attack Ashiok. Attack Ashiok. Attack your face. All right, so they go block. It's one of the three threes. It still takes five. If they have a removal spell, it's fine. And we also have Corpse Dance hitting uh, Zealous Conscripts now. So next turn we can actually Corpse Dance with Buyback at the end of the turn. Because it, it exiles at the beginning of the next end step. So that's pretty sweet. I just didn't play anything. Interesting. Yep, that's fine. Oh, I wonder what that is. Okay, so three, four, five, six, 79, 10, 11. This is 12 damage, plus we have K command in hand, and we can actually reanimate Croxa. This actually seems really good. And if they don't flip it, we just get to kill it. If they flip it here, we get an extra point, so I guess Den Protector. Oh, look at that. I mean, this is 11, right? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Croc says 14 if they don't pitch a land. Wait, what? Oh, you only steal it till the end of the turn. Never mind, I'm stupid. It's still they still we still have it in play, I guess. Oh man, we have no way to naturally discard that, huh? Oh, we need one more land to to Kolagons command ourselves and then Corpse Dance. Yeah, if you reanimate Crocs, it just dies, but it's still an extra three damage. I mean, if I'm gonna, I'd rather just go for the throat this thing. I mean, it's turn seven, and. Uh, they they literally preordained to hit a, a six land. So I, I definitely don't think their hand is all hands. What are they getting back? Oko? Demonic Tutor. Sure. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put them to seven. I mean, we need one more land, and then we just get the Kolagon's Command Emrakul, which is pretty sweet. Demonic Tutor. I mean, Demonic Tutor is just the best card in your deck, right? So your best card in your deck has to deal with six damage on board when you're at seven. Yep. It's possible. I mean, they can get Damnation here. Again, that still doesn't do anything about this. Yep. <laughs> it never fails. Um, any order is not great because we do want to put Gonti on top. Just in case. Come on, land. Land, let's live the dream. Oh my god, we're doing it. Two, three. Kolagon's command. Ooh, let's return a creature from our graveyard to our hand and we'll discard a card. Let's return Gonti... Target ourselves. Okay. Holding control. Discard Emrakul. Oh boy, living that dream. That's how you do it. That's how you do the thing. I like Avalanche Riders here because it seems like they have a bunch of weird lands, including uh, your boy. Guys, are we breaking the curse? Can we break the 1-2 the curse? 
Oh, man. Living Death could be decent. Massacre Room seems meh. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think we're. I think our deck's just good. We do need to make one cut here. I mean, we're putting a lot of their guys in the graveyard. I think we, maybe we cut like Emrakul makeshift mannequin to bring in Massacre Worm. But God, living that Emrakul dream is so good. I, but like the thing about Freebooter is that they they do have Oko and Ashiok and like control magic. So they definitely have targets. We just we just happen to whiff when we cast it. Maybe it's Arena again. Wow. Um I think this hand is keepable because of Faithless Looting. Like what if we hit Gristlebrand Swamp or Gristlebrand Lotus or Come on. We get a black source too. Let's be looting. Okay. Okay. Let's get rid of Kiki Jiki. Fatal push. Okay. Okay. Modern 2015 to 2019. Good lord. Also, like, another reason to keep Lotus in hand is because they do have Oko. So if they have any sort of ramp into Oko, like, they just turn your Lotus into a into an Elk. Which is fine. It's a 3-3, three, three, but, like, it's really not what you're playing. It's really not what you're playing Lotus for. <sighs> Why does the Fatal Push in the Graveyard have, like, a, a highlight around it? Okay, now we're talking. Let's boot the Freeze. <laughs> yeah I mean we get to take Oko here which is pretty cool they do get to murderous rider it but like they don't get to do it next turn right so what do they have five cards one two three four five no swift end is not a card one two three so everything up to swamps yep that's fine you kill freebooter but that's your turn and if we draw any sort of big fat idiot here we get to go faithless looting into lotus into reanimate that seems good yeah we're definitely not blocking that you're gonna have to waste your turn reggie fascinating gonti do we go i think we just gonti here one two three four we also have, actually we gonti and then keep up go for the throat to kill reggie that seems good black gonti <laughs> There's an Ashiok. Ashiok seems pretty decent here. They don't really have an answer for it other than like Grave Titan, but they only have one land in hand. So, you know, that's pretty cool. I don't really care about Damnation. If you want to Damnation and kill like Rotting Regisaur. They got rid of the Grave Titan? I have Animate Dead? Oh yeah, please Damnation now. Also, we have Gonti to just block Regisaur, so that's fine. There's a lot of things happening right now. Sure. We're just going to go for the throat this guy. I'm not taking a million. Plus Murderous Rider's gone. And now we can just Ashiok on an empty board. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, that's fascinating. We're not going to cast Grave Titan because we know they have uh, Damnation in hand. Oh, no, they don't have Damnation in hand. Because I, I was thinking I was thinking we saw it with Kite Sail for you, but we actually saw it with Gonti. So I just, I just actually got them confused. So we know they have Swamp in hand. They just played Swamp, right? No, they cast Island, so we know they have Swamp as their last card. We know they had two Swamps. They played one of them because they had one in play. 
Seems good. Guys, I think we're going to 2-1 here. Guys, if you are watching on YouTube, definitely check out manatraders.com. It's an awesome subscription service. Uh, I get a kickback in if you use the promo code RATTRAIN and the link down below, and you get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. So uh, it's a pretty sweet deal. It's a great way to support the channel, too. There's your Leo of old. So we know that Damnation is on the bottom, so we actually have, like, no real deterrent to not just get Grave Titan here. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm about that. Also, if they hit, like, Necromancy, I want to make sure this dude's out of the graveyard, so. If we had another Black Source, we could also reanimate Kikiji and make a copy of Grave Titan, so that would be cool. But, mana, still, despite Black Lotus, is not our strong suit, so. Guys, I think we broke the streak. I'm feeling it. I don't want to count our chickens before they come home to roost, but... <laughs> yeah, we could Yeah, we could deal two to ourselves, then reanimate Emrakul, but the only problem with that is uh, that reanimate is a sorcery, and Emrakul will shuffle in before we get a chance to do that. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, 2-1. We broke the streak unbelievable feeling good thank you guys for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons hopefully we can keep this up tomorrow and uh don't count your chickens before they walk down the street and give you your meat don't do it thank you guys so much for hanging out slam those like and subscribe buttons check me out on twitch.tv slash rank manatraders.com cool stuff inc every wednesday and check out freshly brewed everywhere podcasts can be found and uh i'll see you next time guys thanks for watching